Okay, so this is going to be my first maintenance video, and what I'm doing is I am going to do a, not really a tutorial, but a video of how you could do a, use a Tupperware container, and use it on the back of your cup, on your axial, and have your waterproof electronics semi-waterproof, I don't want to say they're always waterproof, but... You can do your best to try. Alright, so let's get started. So I just have this cheap Velcro that I bought at the dollar store. And I'm going to cut strips of it um, along the sides so I can get it down and around the sides. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. And after I have the Velcro done, I'm just going to go ahead and drill a hole for the electronics and the wires to go through. And after I'm all done with everything, I'm going to use a silicone to seal up the hole so I can have a watertight seal. And I'm just going to go ahead and drill a couple more holes so the connector can fit through. And so once I think I have a pretty good sized hole for the connectors to go through, I'm just going to try out and see if it fits. Nope, not quite, so I'm going to have to drill a couple more holes. That should work. And a check. So close. And after I'm done, I'm going to take a Dremel and just smooth that all out so it's not as rough. And it fits. So right now I'm going to put all my electronics in there with Velcro on them, and I will see how that works. So I'm just going to take a hobby knife and cut the a square for the receiver to fit in with. Gotta have a sharp knife for Velcro. I'm just gonna find a place where I where I think I'm going to want the receiver, so say right in the corner. Then put in the receiver. And by the way, this is a FlySky FS GT3B receiver. It uses a remote that has um, up to 10 channels of model memory, and it only costs about 40, 50 bucks. And this is the remote right here. I run three cars off of this. And for the price, it's a very good remote, considering that can get a quarter mile of range. So, and I have three of them, so. Uh, so, after I have that done, I'm just going to set it on the car. I have to turn it the right way, of course. And put the wires through. The leads... I am actually going to change where I put the receiver because I don't want ha to have to have the leads stuck in here if I didn't want to take them out. So after I get all those through, I'm just going to refit the receiver. And these tires are Mickey Thompson Baja Claws, RC4 wheel drive with um, just axial rims. They work pretty good. I've tried them out only a few times. But they're pretty new, so I want to see how they work. And then the same thing with the ESC. This will also fit, too, right in there. So, I normally have my battery right up here. But just for the video, I'm, I took it out. I use these. They're pretty cheap batteries for a good price. But I think I'm going to try Hobby King batteries from now on. Because they're very, very cheap, and they, 
I've heard that they're pretty good, but if any of you want to leave your opinion on them, go right ahead in the comments. And I'm just cutting the squares for the ESC Velcro. There. Set that aside and also with the knife. Take the Velcro off of the label. And of course I cannot do it when I'm filming, but otherwise I can. So close. Alright, there. And I'm just going to set this one right on here. I have two separate kinds of Velcro, so that will bond better. I highly doubt that that's true, but I kind of want to see if it is. But I've seen pictures of this all over the internet. I wanted to see if it worked for the longest time. And so I'm going to do a test with it, with the body off of it, to show how good it works, if it works at all. So that should be up within next week or a week or so. So I'm just going to fit all the wires through here. And I have a Tekken 35 turn heavy duty motor in here. It works very well. I'm very surprised. Not surprised, but I've, he I've heard very good things about Tekken and they are true. So that's probably going to be what I'm using from now on. But... Of course, it won't work right now. Just take all the other wires out. Bring them back in so I have easier time with getting the connector through. I get that through. And then I'll have all the rest of the space to put all the other connectors. So I'm just going to go run and do that right now. There's a battery connector. There's a, sorry, motor connector. There's another motor connector. Okay, so since I have an Axial ESC, I have this on-off switch, and it's going to be in here, so I'm probably not going to want to open the lid every time I want to turn the car on. So what I'm going to do is cut this, and then just cross the wires, but strip them first. So I'm going to see if that works. So I'm just going to cut them. I still want to leave a little bit of length on there. So if I ever want to, I can add the connector back on. I just got a pair of um, wire strippers. And there is one... And then, and then, then there's two, and it, whoops, I'm just going to cross both of these, then put a little bit of heat shrink on top of them, so if water gets in here, which I'm hoping it won't, um, I can use the heat shrink will hold them together to form a tighter seal, so... This is just heat shrink I got at the hardware store. Going to cut off a little piece of it. Put it back and then get a lighter. Put this over first. And then while that is there, I am just going to take the lighter and heat it up so it will shrink. And that is all you have to do to keep your RC on whenever you cross the wires, whenever you turn, plug it in. So that will be the on-off switch now, so there's no on-off switch. And I'm just going to go ahead and plug the motor back in. So black to black, and this is, I got these leads from a different car. So this one, red goes to white. After that is in, I will tuck that all away. Put the lid on. Later I'll probably go back in there and just make the wires a bit neater. Close that up. Shut that. Attach my uh, servo to right. One second. I have to see what channel this is. Um, if you're wondering why my receiver is all black, 
it is because I plastic dipped it, so it'll be even more waterproof. I recommend in putting leads just like this before you do it. So every time you want to change your um, your electronics, you don't have to rip up the plaster dip and totally redo it. But I just find that an easier way to use the plaster dip. Then I have the servo winch up here. It, I just had a servo laying around and I cut one of the gears. So now it's a winch. It doesn't have a lot of torque, but I had it, and it's pretty much free. So, I am going to connect that also to the third channel. That is also a very nice thing about this remote. It has a button on the bottom of it. That That is just that. So when you click that, the servo winch will come out. And then when you want to go back in, it has a channel 3 trim button. And then you just push that in, and it will retract the servo. But it's not a three-position switch, so that's what makes it pretty cool. So after those are all hooked up, I'm just going to make that nicer. By bringing that under, I reconnect it, put the top on. And that is pretty much it. I'm just going to have the silicone in there so I can get that all done. If I ever want to take that out, I believe heating up silicone will make it um, come off or loosen up so you can pull stuff out. But if not, it's fine because the receiver is only $7. The ESC is only about $40. So if I can't get it off, it's not. I'm not going to worry about it that much. But... That's pretty much it, so I'll see you all you guys next time.